Don't even think about soldering if you don't own one of these. Stick around. Hey there viewers, thank you for tuning in to Super Mario Diagnostics once again. Today we are going to talk about something, a recent purchase of mine. Something I'm pretty proud of. It's it's not the best, but it's uh, it's health related and it has to do with soldering. Uh, I know my, some of my viewers, a lot of my viewers are, are uh, getting into circuit board repairs. And I even see some bedroom warriors out there. You know, kudos to you guys. But um, I want to show you guys what my upgrade is. And before I do that, I want to show you guys what I was working with already. The topic at hand is the fume extractor. I have a Hakko FA400. You could get one of these for like about 70 to 100 bucks depending on where you get it. I think I paid like 80 bucks for it. And I thought, you know, anything is better than nothing, right? It's true, but yeah, it's, it sucks. Honestly, it sucks. Uh, that's a brand new filter I just put on. And we're going to show you what happens when you use it. There's only one speed. It's nothing impressive. Actually, I would recommend not going for one of these type of uh, these charcoal impregnated filters. I, I say go for a HEPA uh, type setup. I'm going to show you which one I got. Uh, it's not the best. It's not even second best or third best. It's, it's, but it's a HEPA filter. And the idea is you get something that goes through a HEPA filter. And well, let's just show you what it does. You guys know I like my stream light for smoke test, but let's see if it'll do the job here. We're gonna leave that there. And I'm just gonna grab my soldering iron and put some smoke through this thing. You guys can see that being blown right up. Hopefully, let me see if I should uh, should look at this uh, so you guys can see this yep you see that going right through that charcoal impregnated filter and right up where anyone can breathe that and uh, if it wasn't for this light I wouldn't have noticed it um, for some reason on another light I just didn't notice it or maybe I was just oblivious to it uh, period uh, there are obvious health reasons concerning this. Uh, this, is, this is inadequate. I uh, started getting more into circuit board repair and I started getting headaches. Fumes started getting in my face. Honestly, <laughs> you know the how, how there's some people that like the smell of gasoline? I hate the smell of gasoline. I, it, it, I abhor it. Uh, it. It sickens me. But I like the smell of solder. I don't know why. It just smells good. Even though it's so bad for you, there's something about it. I don't know. I just, for some reason, I don't mind it. But if it wasn't for my health, I wouldn't care. Um, I started getting headaches. I, um, it was not a pleasant feeling. I felt like as much as I was trying to get ahead with, you know, repairing circuit boards and, and stuff like that, um, I was, you know, my health was deteriorating. I, was, I felt sick. Uh, more often and I like I said I see a lot of bedroom warriors out there I hope you guys are using an extractor with a HEPA filter don't use this charcoal crap it doesn't work um, and the one that I chose what is it it's, it's, everything's Chinese nowadays it's a China flea bay special it's a um, it's like an unbranded one but you can find it under King Soam or you can find it under uh, I'll put a link in the des uh, in the description. Hopefully, it'll last, and uh, those who view it, who view this video quickly, will be able to see which model it is. Pay for like two forty something for it. Didn't wait that long to receive it, and here it is. It's unbranded, nothing crazy. It's not the Hacko one. The Hacko one has a better output. I'm not. I mean, not gonna lie. It has better suction. Um, I mean, more powerful suction. But at least my chips won't be getting sucked into this monster. Um, which is probably one of the complaints of people who do own very powerful uh, fume extractors. But this one, we're gonna put it on the uh, a second level, and that's third level. It's got some noise. I don't care for noise. Um, 
Not at all. I put a flashlight down there so you guys can see if there's any smoke coming out of this thing. And I will put this right here so you guys can see this. And I want my focus to be on the flashlight so I will keep the focus there hopefully. Let me see. The focus these cameras, I tell ya. Come on now. Huh? Alright, so you guys can see more all this focused, right? We're gonna put some solder. The smoke we're getting is from the flux, it's not really from the solder. But it's going right in, right? And absolutely zero, zero smoke comes out of this thing. I do apologize. The video's not going to do justice. You can't see me doing it at the same time. You know what? We'll do it right like this. See all that smoke going in there? We get nothing because this is a, a legit HEPA filter. And it is worth its weight in gold. Not even 200 something bucks on it. I cannot complain. I just thought I'd put that out there. I, it's been kind of tricky to find out where to put it exactly so that everything gets caught in there. I may have to change this attachment to a more cone type shape. But it's nice to uh, work on circuit boards with no headaches. I'll tell you that much. If you're on the fence about getting anything like an upgrade from your charcoal impregnated um, fume extractor, if you could call it that, really is a fume dis <laughs> displacement machine. It's not, it's not really an extractor. It doesn't do anything. It freaking spreads it everywhere. And that stuff, uh, that stuff is, is uh, down to the microscopic level. Um, y even if you don't see the smoke, it's uh, very dangerous for you to be breathing in. It's not good for your eyes. Um, as much as I enjoy this model solder, uh, it is just not worth it. Um, haven't had a headache since, and I'm hoping to make a couple of more upgrades in the future. I thought I'd share that, but I do want to get a microscope. I, uh, you know, this I, I didn't know how deep I was going to get into this stuff, and I uh, kind of just winged it, and I ended up, you know, I'm using a crappy little you know mechanics chair and you know I get down a lot and that's not great that's not good for you so I'm, I'm thinking about doing a microscope setup where I'm just like more upright and able to work that way and then more comfortable anything anything to increase comfort levels is good for you because uh, to be sitting I've sat down here for hours at one point practicing repairing on top of a next another repair on top of more practicing and um, it's hard it's hard on your back and uh, Whatever you can do to uh, prevent health issues or discomfort, I say go for it. Um, and I, I guess I'll keep you guys updated along the way. I mean, as long as, 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 as I keep upgrading my stuff, I'm looking at the amp scope. I want to get that black microscope set up. It looks pretty sweet. Wait till you guys see it. Hopefully in the near future, um, little by little, we'll start beefing up this uh, setup. And... Uh, Keeping you guys uh, tagging along on this one. Again, I will leave a link in the description so you guys can know exactly which one I'm talking about. But the, the, you know, at the very least, get one of these, you know, a HEPA filter. Get a HEPA filter extractor. Don't get this crappy little carbon um, charcoal impregnated wannabe filters. Don't get that crap. I'm, I'm going to throw it away. I don't even wish this upon anybody. I might use the fan for something. I don't know. Uh, uh, knowing me, I probably won't. Maybe not even care. I'll just get rid of it. I'm not going to, you know, spread that to someone else unless they'll make some kind of a HEPA filter out of this thing. I don't know. It's not that strong. It's not like it's going to pull that much. Um, maybe in the future I'll end up upgrading this, but for now it's not a bad option. Um it's very cost effective you'll make your money back pretty quick doing this stuff um 250 bucks you can't really complain when the next level is like the hacko and i believe those are like seven or eight hundred bucks 
So, and that's the considered the cheap version. So, uh, we'll see where we go from here. I appreciate you for taking the time to watch this because it may help you. I hope it does. It may help you prevent headaches <laughs> in the future, which I'm all for. I'm all for preventing headaches, um, it, both in, in, in circuit board rework and in the diagnostic field. So uh, if, if you like what you saw, if you thought this was helpful, be sure to leave uh, a comment. And let me know what you think. And um, hit like, share if you want to subscribe consider subscribing i'm getting close to that twenty thousand. that's crazy i never thought i'd get up here but man it's all because of you guys i i cannot complain i, I gotta tell you i cannot complain um thank you all for your continued support i appreciate every single one of you and uh i'll catch you all next time